goodness, one of these days. Oh my goodness, one of these. Should I make Chuck Norris? Well, Jackie Chan is coming to town very, very soon indeed. Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. We're in the downtown Kenapathos Harbour. We'd like you to come with us. We're going to introduce you to one or two of the superstars along the way. But before we do that, I'm going to introduce you to the dancing, the prancing, and most beautiful woman in the world. And of course, we all know her name is Miss Archin Grassivia Labu. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again on this luxury point of view. We are observing the beauty of the nature. What else would you want in this life? Yes, indeed. If you're looking for a great, great place to come for your holidays and you're looking for a bit of blueness and a bit of brightness, yes, Lady Whitney, in your life, Paphos should be at the very, very top of your list. And that sky, it's looking blue. The sea, you've guessed it, it's looking blue. Mr. Paul, oh yeah, he's dressed head to toe in blue. So that must mean one thing. All that is missing is... You, of course, you, you. So get yourself on the big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy. That's because we all are patiently waiting. <sighs> Lord Julia, he's knocking on his TV screen. And he is, he is. He probably is, yep, he is. And of course, don't forget to grab that honeymoon girl by the hand, Lady Bridget, and drag her with you, because we're missing him like crazy and looking forward to seeing you. Big shout out to some people in downtown North Wales. There is a man who is an Englishman who decided to move into North Wales and of course he then met the love of his life. That is our Lord Paul and of course his girl Lady Marilyn is whizzing around in downtown Carnarvon. Now here's a superstar on the they are, they are the superstar. He's pointing out, there we are, you see? That's what he's pointing out. He's always got an eye for the girls. Yanis, how are you doing? Work, work. Work, work, work. All the time. Is it a bit busier? No. Because of the war. I tell you one more time, because of the war. The war is affecting you. Yeah. Okay. Many people, but I don't see... Mm, there's not enough money. Hopefully it'll get busier. Hopefully. You when don't think so? Finish, yes. But okay. now, the restaurant is busy. Mm. The restaurant is busy, but the boat trip... They're suffering a little bit, okay? Because so, we don't sell chicken nugget, no, KFC, no, that's true. hamburger, club sandwich. Perhaps that's what you should branch out into, and <laughs> Coca-Cola. <laughs> now, Yanis is a superstar who's Hello. been on the harbour for Hasta many, vista, many years you indeed. His job is to promote boat trips and, of course, jeep trips. So, if you are coming to Paphos, why not come and have a word? And we all understand he's got a great sense of humour. Sometimes he can be a bit off, but he has got a great, great heart. Go on the Blue Lagoon cruise with him, or perhaps twist his arm with and me, get a me. discount. Blue Lagoon with me is the perfect. That's what he wants you to do. Or go and enjoy one of the Jeep safaris. And they're quite clever, because if you look very, very carefully, these are land cruisers, because they understand that they are the most reliable vehicles in the world. So if you want to go into the Akamas Peninsula, it kicks off at 50 Five euros. If you want to go to the Trudus Mountains, 60 euros. If you want to do the Jeep and the Blue Lagoon, it's only 65 euros. Why not come and see Yanis, get a leaflet or two, pick his brain, and you never know, he might carry you up and down the downtown Kedapathos promenade. It's very good. Uh, I don't know whose idea was it, but it's obvious uh, that these details and informations about different uh, um, crosses uh, written in several languages which makes for the customer uh, the job easier yeah it does indeed so remember Yanis speaks pretty good English he speaks fluent Russian by the way he speaks fluent Greek and he speaks pretty good German so but remember speak slowly and concisely and he'll explain it all about all those cruises and all of those trips he also has many other things up his sleeve by the way perhaps if you want a taxi I've seen many people ask him he's got a friend he phones the taxi, they come, and it's a bit cheaper, but don't tell anybody the, the ones that are over there. Now, talking about boat trips, here's another boat trip promoter. He's kneeling down there, perhaps he's proposing to this lady, I'm not quite sure, don't tell his wife, that's Mr Rickos, but he's in charge of the Super Jumbo, and he owns the Super Jumbo, so you're talking to the man in charge. He likes to take you out on his little boat. You can have a glass of wine, or a Coca-Cola, or something like that, and you're going to get a great, great adventure 
you get to see a shipwreck, you get to see little fishies and all those kind of things swimming around and you get to learn an awful lot from Mr Rickos who's been doing this for many many years indeed kicks off at 15 euros for an adult only five euros if you are a child but don't worry about it because either your mum and dad or your grandparents will be paying goes out twice a day goes out at 12 30 and goes back out at three o'clock they've also got a big big fun slide so you get to do an awful lot of swimming and sunbathing as well and of course very soon we're going to go on one of the strips on a big boy as we call him and it's going to be party 10 12 11 i don't know how many how many people quite a few more quite a few more excited i'm getting uh because me and mr paul normally are not bold people so we want to feel our feet hard uh, if, if it's possible to say where we step in and not only our feet we should uh, we want to feel hard many other things so we don't <coughs> want tits up yeah doesn't want to be tits up and she always likes it to be hard Right, here we are. Downtown Kedipapas Harbour is coming up especially for you. She was referring to the big boy in the harbour, which is that boat just over there. It's called the Ocean Vision. It's operated by the biggest boat operator in downtown Paphos, and they're called PaphosSeaCruises.com. And they've got quite a few boats on top of that one. But that's the big boy. That's the Ocean Vision. And we're looking forward in a few weeks' time to going on that boat to celebrate a birthday of one of our superstar members. His name is Viscount Bradley. He's got a sister who's an angel, and that's Princess Mia. Mia. And, of course, a mum and a dad. She's a lady, and that is our Lady Emma and Rob. Her, our you know, Lord Rob. Uh, of course, we met these people, and they're amazing people... Uh, we wish them all the luck uh, in every beginning they have. Yes, indeed. And, of course, we're going to go and celebrate that young man's birthday. And we're going to take you with us and make one or two live videos on the Ocean Vision. We're now about to enter into the harbour. It's that funny time. Lunchtime has finished. So they're now getting ready for the main event, which, of course, is the evening meal. The first restaurant on the block is called King's Restaurant. That's its rear of house with its lovely tablecloth. One or two people sitting there enjoying a sup on a pint or two. And this is its front of house. And that is the man in charge. And he's known as the Cowboy Porn Star. Yes, you all right? How are you doing? Sigala? Very good. Busy? Yes. Yes, that's what we like to hear. Tonight, are you going to be packed? Of course. Of course. We wish you all the luck. Where's your hat? In my car again. Get your hat. You've got to get your hat so that people will recognise you for the summer. That's Enos, and he is a superstar. Speaks very, very good English, got a great sense of humour, by the way. And I tell you what, King's Restaurant, we've eaten there many, many times, and paid, and it really is a great, great restaurant indeed. The next restaurant is called Theo's, and they've started to unmask it, because, of course, the summer is definitely coming upon us. So they've removed all the glass panels from this side, and there's just those on that side, perhaps if it gets that little bit chilly on an evening. And they've actually put outside one of their aquariums. Let's go and have a quick look and see what is in there. Not a lot. Is it any George here? I think that could be one, and I'm not sure if it's alive. And there's a crab. I think these are relics from an olden time. That's what I think they are. I know why they are like that. This is a time when old people have gone. They watched Netflix, Netflix. Could be watching Netflix. And now they're sleeping. Having they're a having snooze. a quiet uh, day for the memories uh, of tomorrow. Could oh, be. Yeah. Could be dreaming of you coming to eat at possibly the best restaurant in the world. Certainly one of the best in downtown Kedapapos. And there's the man <laughs> in charge. Yasu oh, Gumbara. You all right? Marika. Good. Nice you're to doing see you, well? folks. We're doing better and better. That's we have a lovely like weather, Perfect. beautiful people around. Good. good. Don't forget to subscribe. And no. good food. <laughs> and good food. That's what we want to see. A nice vibe, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's very important. It's a nice chilled atmosphere in the harbour. Yeah. Theo's restaurant, it could be the best restaurant in the world. You drop it in the comments if you like it or if you don't like it. Grazie la bouffe. Thank you. Well, see what this lady is saying, what this nice ice warm woman saying. Always got a smile on the face. What a woman, uh, lady, yeah? Was yeah. there someone looking for us, was there? No. Yes. 
Did they eat? She came to eat, yes, because uh, she, she saw, saw it on the YouTube. Uh, nice. Nice. Lovely. And did she get a good meal? Did okay. she get a good meal? Very good meal. That's what we like to hear. There we are. So, don't forget to mention the words, Marika and me. You're going to get better service. And now and again, you might get something chucked in for free, or you might get a discount. We hope that that lady will take the time to come and find us again because we'd like to say a big, big thank you to you for coming to the harbour and spending your money. We understand you can go all the places and spend, but Paphos Harbour and the Promenade is the main event in downtown Keda Paphos. And one of our favourite restaurants is this little restaurant called The Pelican. And this is Mr. Bonsoir. Yasu, yeah, yes, you all right? Yes. You're looking good. We like the hat. We like the T-shirt. The jeans are not the right colour. They should be blue, but the shoes are blue. So he is in an awful lot of blue and a camouflage hat, and it says cash. So he wants your cash. So come to the Pelican restaurant and get yourself a great, great meal indeed. Look at that. There's some food live on camera going out. And I tell you what, the burger is a great, great burger indeed. Gary is restocking with some fresh fish. Feast your eyes and digest upon that. Nice Look at that. that Look at wow. that. This guy, 700 grams. It's enough for your starter. It's enough really? for a starter. That's what he likes <laughs> to say. There's all yeah. sorts in there, by the way. Look at that. The yeah. oysters, the salmon. My goodness. Look at those killer prawns. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Jumbo one. That's jumbo a jumbo, prawn. jumbo prawn. That's my hand. Do you see the size? Wow. Look at it. Wow. It's absolutely huge. How big huge. Are centimeters, by the way? That is one huge prawn. So if you want some jumbo prawns that might kill you, get yourself to the Pelican restaurant and you're going to get a great, great meal indeed. We're going to invite you to keep coming with us. Watch Christina the Booth has measured up this killer prawn. I think it was about 22 centimeters, by the way. It's a good size. This long and huge. The circumference. And this it's actually not circumference because it's a little bit uh, squashed. squashed like this, but beautiful by the but way. Beautiful. So big shout out to some of the guys who like to watch the show now and again. If you're in damp downtown Cardiff, Baron Jeremy, Baron Simon, we all understand it's all about the size and that circumference. And please don't forget to lock up my mansion when you're leaving and switch the lights off because electricity is quite expensive, you know. Gilalamo could be the best restaurant in the world and they do a great great variety of ice creams and of course waffles and all those kind of things so perhaps come there in the daytime and perhaps go to their restaurant in the nighttime and they do all sorts of gourmet food by the way I tell you what the fillet steak is to dine for is uh, my friend was waving me and I was standing like a monument I didn't watch at her didn't look at her and then after third or fifth time when she waved she sort of, oh, are you sleeping or something? Yeah, that I Princess went. Luca, as she's in the background, keeping herself very busy. And of course, in the shade. You can blame that because the temperature, if you are curious to know, I'm not trying to make you jealous, but middle of April, 26 degrees. Yep, you heard me correctly, 26 degrees. We're now outside the biggest restaurant on the block and it's called Sail at the Castle. And there's a lot of guys in here waiting just for you. If you want some great food, i tell you what, this could be the restaurant that is waiting just for you. Well, I can observe a few things that changing, changing and changing and rejuvenating. I don't think uh, day by day it's hour by hour now. It is hour by hour. There's something always going on in downtown Kedapapas Harbour. So keep on coming back as we update you. We're outside Steve's. There it is. Waiting for you. It's that funny time of day, by the way. But there's the man in charge. He's got a new hat on. Yes, again. He's the most famous man in the world. His name is Henry. Ooh, la la. Something happened today. I'm not very happy. I'm in the sad mood, yeah? You? you know, every time I stand here, I never go to the Pelican restaurant to pick the Pelican. The Pelican always come here. I know. So the owner of the Pelican, not, not the owner, maybe if I will send him, yeah. will call me stupid. Why are you taking this Pelican? Good like, Well, you're not taking the Pelican. I say, I rather come the to the The Pelican shop. loves you yes. from the bottom of your heart. So don't I have to go and have a fight with him because he called me that stupid again next time. He's going to be, you know. No, no. I try to I, I be stupid just to get people in. That's not my real character. No. Once no. I cross this line, I'm a different human being entirely. You know? yeah, Some that's people right. listen to him. So, Some unfortunately, we do have the odd squabble in the harbour. The Pelican, that's Miss Coco, who actually owns the Pelican restaurant, is in love with Ooh La La. And you'll see her flying up the road to come and see him. And unfortunately, one of the staff 
one of the junior managers, I think it is, has had a word with him and called him stupid, which is not very nice. So we're going to have to have a word with that manager, that's for sure. Obviously, he was a bit upset, which I am uh, as well not feeling very well after what he said. This boy is very honest. I wouldn't say that he's uh, taking an advantage. I wouldn't say uh, of the Pelican. No, no, it's uh, really over saying. Uh, concerning to Henry, he's an open uh, hard boy. And this Pelican really in love, so if you could, in love, uh, sorry, with him, if you could only observe how much, when she gets out, you know, when they open her uh, gates, yep. so to say, she's flying straight away to him. Yeah, it is. The first place she wants to go is to see Henry. Ooh, la la, la la. Now, this channel is all about a few things, all about the blueness, and it's showing you the beauty and the spectacality of the area in downtown Ketapapos, known as the Promenade and the Harbour area. This is where all the boats hang out. There's some fishing boats, there's some bigger boats, obviously. Perhaps even your boat is in the Papos Harbour. If your name is... Mr. Flozy. I'm pretty sure it will be coming here very, very soon indeed. Don't forget to drop us a message and of course we'll be coming to see you. And you never know, we might sup on a pint or two in one of the bars and restaurants along the Kidapapos Promenade and Harbour area. The pint or two with Mr. Flozy. It's just the pleasure of all the pleasures because it's such a nice and, and, and open mind man who is always, if you can read, you can read him like a book, which is a very, very nice uh, character in every person. Like you can indeed. If you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe. Don't forget to keep on coming back for the updates and the madness in and around Ked of Promenade and Harbour area. And of course, don't forget to go and hunt us down on that Buy Me A Coffee platform, because that's where you could gift us that virtual coffee or two. That's how you can keep the channel afloat. And of course... You can join us as a superstar member, starting off at only 10 euros as well. Big, big shout out and thank you to Lord Lee and, of course, his honeymoon girl, Lady Vicky. Big shout out to Lady Whitney and, of course, Sir Jason. Big shout out to Lady Beverly and, of course, Sir Owen. And we're looking forward to seeing you all again very, very soon indeed. We wish you all were here. We would love to say the totally enjoyable time as we never had an enjoyable time of working in these beautiful areas, especially when it's renovated and we're getting more and more excited what we shall see tomorrow and after and the next day. Don't forget that we're loving you to bit and kissing you from the bottom of our two hearts. We wish I'm saying it again, you were here. And please, please, come and see another our madness and I know that you know that we all know who it was dedicated. Many yep. kisses. Our Lord Damon Ritchie and of course a big shout out to his partner in his crimes, Lady Zuska. We're missing you like crazy and we're looking forward to seeing you in August, which is not very far away. Thanks for watching. See you again very, very soon indeed. <laughs>